oppressing. You're oppressing. I'm <laughs> Stop oppressing me. I'm not oppressing. I am oppressing. <sighs> I didn't even prepare for this. Welcome to my world. Theme song. Started out really good. <laughs> As I rise into it, you were shifting gears. It was money I was in. I didn't know what the gong was. Yeah. Have you ever listened to the bird? <laughs> Have you ever listened to the bird that's around here? And it sounds like it's, to me, it sounds like it's racing. It's all me. Like, it sounds like it's RPMs going up down the straightaway. It just slows down to get in the corner. I crack up. I hear no. it all the time. I'm all, that bird's racing. That orgasm bird makes me, or that orgasm dog makes me laugh. And all the other dogs are all, rawr, 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 and that one's all, oh, every fucking time I laugh. You're like, Jesus, somebody's giving that dog the food. <laughs> oh, welcome to when life gives you lemons. Ish, 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 ish. Oh, ish? Well, I don't know. Maybe welcome to John's maybe world with a side of joy. That would be just John with a side of joy. Just John with a... Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just, just John. Joy. I'm just John kidding. You just looked at my titties. I did. I always look at you. I don't touch your stuff. You look... But you like... So what, what does that make you... Does it make you feel... Dirty. Like you just got ogled? 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 I guess that was John over all the so do you want to hear my little story? Yes, Jonathan. I would okay. love to hear your story. So I had to go pee. So I stopped at the Walgreens at the bottom of, by our kid's school, because it, we're, it was his game day. Mm -hmm. I was on my way up. Mm -hmm. So I stopped there. Mm -hmm. Done. I told you the story. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm walking to the Walgreens, and <clears throat> I'm, I'm walking around, and I'm like, oh, shit. I see, I see the little... Easter candy, like 75% off. I'm all, ooh, I have all it on the way by. Because, you know, I like candy. Mm -hmm. And there's this dude, and he's in scrubs. Mm -hmm. Top and bottom scrubs. And he's got a whole box of them in his hands, and he's, like, looking at it like he's debating it, right? <laughs> Another guy who works there is walking by and goes, dude, you know you're going to do it, Jared. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, does he know him? Right? And then uh -huh. he's like, oh, I oh, know. And, and then he stood there and debated, and I went and got pee, and I grabbed something that was coming back. He's in line in front of me, Jared. Mm -hmm. He's got to both boxes now. <laughs> <laughs> There's two cashiers. Uh -huh. One cashier is checking out a person. I'm hearing him. He's like, 739, all right, well, hey, have a great day. Jared walks up to the counter, and the guy goes, I'm going to help you. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Right? And uh -huh. Jared dude just talks normal. He's like, yeah, it's no. He's all, I see you've got a candy. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is that? Uh -huh. And then he's like, starts talking about how he's like going to slay him. I'm going to slay you. Bro. I do not let people pass. Like, it's like crazy. Oh like, and I go, God. what the fuck is happening right now? You didn't think this is my middle son's future? Well, actually, I did. <laughs> but <laughs> Walgreens cashier. Okay. So, Jared rounds it up to, for the, save the children. You go, Jared. And, and the guy behind the counter, the, I was, guy. Mm -hmm. I was slave. Grabs the bell and goes, ding, 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 right, because, you know, yay, we got the dip, right? He's like, we've got the dip. Like, he's like, and I'm like, what the fuck, right? So, and he's like, kind of at the other guy, and, and the Jared dude turns around and goes, hey, Danny, to the other cashier. You notice I gave it to Daniel or Michael or whatever his name is. You know I said I gave it to him. He's like, because I am the demand. Like, he's like, what the fuck, man? And I'm standing here watching this for at least two, three minutes. Finally, the Jared dude who's been talking normal the whole time, he starts leaving. He goes, ooh, I shall see you again. And he, like, walks off, and I go, oh, my God. There's like, LARPers. a whole scene of LARP in no. front of me. Like, it was, like, <laughs> improvised LARPing that I just watched. And I was like... That's fantastic. Wow. And he you didn't? Out. I should have jumped in and said, I would get in. I was going to say, I'm kind of disappointed that you didn't. You know why? Out. I shall pay for you know my what, you stuff. You know what it is? It's like, you know when you're like, oh, dude, if I saw that in the fucking wild, I'd punch it in its fucking face. It was that. It was like, <gasps> is this really happening right now? <laughs> it 
was okay. like so like the entertainment was the value was so interesting. Like it was like I wasn't even there. I would like, like they acted like I was just not in the room. Well, room you at were all. not alive, bro. You were invisible. You were in a. I was not to be slayed on that day. You were a civilian in a cloak. But since Jared did help with the, ching 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 ching, tickling ling, we shall let you pass. But I shall slay you at another time, sir. I. It was fucked up, man. I would hope. That if I was in a situation like that, my ass would jump in. I really would hope I just, that would be. But I mean, I get it. You when you're just it was, like it was being caught off guard. It was like shock, shock and awe. Just shock and awe, shock and awe, It's just like when I was on maternity leave with Brody, my phone. People kept calling me, calling me, calling me. Joy, you need to come back. Joy, you need to come back. And um, one lady, she called and she's like, "When are you coming back?" I was like, dude, I just had a baby surgically removed from my body. You're going to have to give me a minute before you fucking get your $8 fucking massage. And she was like, Joy. I went. I think I've told you. I know I've told you this, but I don't know if I've told it on here. She's like, I want. I needed a massage so bad that I went to one of those foot places over by Cinema Drive. And she goes, they put a hot towel over your eyes. And this... She was getting a massage, and she felt something weird on her toes. So she kind of, like, looked under the towel, and dude was sucking on her toes. And I go... So gross. Oh, my God! What the fuck did you do? And she's like, I just fucking let him finish. And I go, I would have fucking kicked him in the face. And then I stopped, and I go, you know what? I'm not free shaming you. I go, I don't know what I would have done in that situation. I go, I hope. I would kick him in the face. I go, but most likely I would have let him finish as well. Do you think that he was hoping that she would like open up and then pay him to fuck her? I don't know. No, because he had the towel on it. I think he was being like covert. Oh, so you think he was just a perp? Yeah. That's so creepy. Fucking what the that fuck though? Can that you imagine like looking down and seeing a guy all on your toes? Like, it's kind of nasty. It's not toes, kind toes of. Toes are nasty. I don't know. I do. I don't have a toe fetish. So I freaked I out Dr. Hong fetish. Kong spray tan the other day because I was talking to one of my favorite patients. She's a nurse. I fucking adore her. She has, she's one of those that her and I like talk like energy and spirit and hypnosis and stuff. And like, she gets me. I fucking love it. Cause you know, I'm, I am on this journey to become a better person. And I feel like since I started hypnosis in October, I have dealt with things a lot better. The cult helps you. The, yes, it does. It really does. And you know what? If I'm not killing anybody, fucking why not? Right. You know? Like, I'm in a good... I'm in a better place. Like, even when we go on no, places... No, you are. You've see, been a little easier going, getting in. You're not... Your stress level is not massive where I want to leave you. Which I've only... I can't like, leave you. Only happens, like... Twice instead of seventeen times. Okay, but I I feel like I'm no, in a just better kidding, place. Yes. You can't fucking leave me. By the way, I fucking kill you with blood. Anyway, I get milk. so we were talking and she smelled really good, and I was like, "Dude, you smell good." Like it was her shampoo, and she's like, "Oh yeah," and she goes, "Oh wait," and she's a nurse, and she goes, "You get stinky too," and I go, "I get I get some stinky." I go, especially when it gets during summer and people are coming from work, and she's all. I never thought about that. And I go, so I appreciate it. Because there are some people who were like, I took a shower for you. And I go, I truly appreciate right. that. Right. Well, it, it kind of almost seems like it made you shit. You think. You but some people don't. Clean. But some people but do come straight from or work. Or they want to come straight from work and then go home and shower after. And right. I get that too. So, but she was talking to me and I was like, yeah, the worst, and it happens every year, is when people get the ass gasket. Or the toilet paper seat cover stuck to their yeah. butt because it's sweaty, and I have to peel it off. It's so gross. And I told, I know we were laughing, and I go, dude, it has made me so paranoid that anytime I use the restroom, normally I squat, but when I have to sit down, I go like this on my butt to make sure I got it all off. And Doctor Hong Kong spray tan walked by me, and I almost smacked him in the crotch with my butt, and he's all, whoa, 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 whoa. And I was like, he was all, your butt was that close, that close to touching me. And I was like, Ur. He's like, it's been a long time since anybody's been He's all place. doing this. <laughs> like a puppy. <laughs> his favorite blanket away. <laughs> yeah. Man, that just.
just proves that he hasn't been anywhere near anything in years. Oh, well, thanks to his hand. <sighs> so, yeah. And that wasn't even on my notes. Um, That's fine. Uh, the only note I had was Jared and that. I was saying you fuck. with the dragons that may fly in. I don't even know if I want to tell you this story. My brother is a piece of shit asshole, and so is his wife. They're dicks. They're just but you love them. Dickheads. But you love. Them. I love them, but fuck them. So I was, I was at work. Okay, my parents are jerk face assholes. Okay, so when we, I we've been discussing this almost weekly at this so, point. So go ahead. Fuck. This is really embarrassing. When I was little. And we would drive to, like, San Jose. There was, like, where is it? There was, like, a man-made lake, kind of. Okay. By Pacheco Pass. Okay. My mom, every time we would drive by it, my mom would go, Oh, look, Joy, the ocean. And I would go, Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's right. the ocean. Look at where the fuck we are right so my asshole brother and his wife sent me a text message and they said adam wanted to make sure you got to see the ocean off of pacheco pass and they fucking sent me a picture of the fucking man-made stupid fucking lake would you like to send him a picture of doing a radar <laughs> calibration <laughs> yes yes and then it says she wrote look joy the ocean and i wrote you guys are assholes. So the next time, what you need to do, well, we'll work it out afterwards. Yeah, but I so, got you. I got you, woman. This is a, if that's a if that's a husband wife smashing on you. I got a husband wife smashing coming back. We fuck got yeah. that. Eat a dick, Uncle <laughs> So I, what else? I drove to Venice by myself. That's impressive. I know. I was. I'm trying to become a better person. That I'm you trying to that. not need you as much. And it's really hard because you are like a hardcore security blanket for me. The fact that I drove all the way to Venice by myself. And I made you go to your show by yourself. And you made me go night. to my show. But it's like, you better stop pushing me away too fast, though. Cause oh, why? Are you going to leave me? No. <laughs> Never. Then why, why can't I push because you? Because it's scary and I don't like it. Like, I did two big things this week by myself. I went, I drove to Venice. I only got you lost. Me to the three, baby. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> I got lost twice because right. fucking ugh. take a left here, yeah, and then you go and it's all no left. So yeah, at two o'clock to five o'clock, and I'm all. That's a tough. Those are tough areas to drive in. But I did it. Good. I got to Stacia's house. I gave Stacia a massage. That's how I got to drive so aggressive at places like that. I did. I think I did well. I mean, you did. I left at three thirty. I got there in fifty two minutes. And then I left at 7, and I got home in 56 minutes. So that's not bad. Right. And then I did Telco Brewery, which, by the way, was so much. That crowd. Go see, go see Telco Brewery. They were good people. Yeah, they're off of Avenue, Stanford, Santa Clarita. And fucking fun. Shout out to them. Yes. And, and, and they're, yeah, if I still drank, I would enjoy your beer. Oh, your my God. They were, it's just, the crowd was amazing. I tried out a bunch of new stuff. I tried out my parents' Coke, and that... That worked. And then I had, <laughs> so my closer, you know, my, did I tell you this already? My closer, yeah. yeah, with the orgasm. Yeah. With my closer, I found a new way to hit a punchline, which was really fun. And then um, I kind of punchlined my parents' cocaine because my mom, you know how she was like, keep, throw away the paraphernalia, but keep the boxes. And I was like, why? Why, mom? Are you going to put your cholesterol medication inside of it to make you still feel young. I go, is that how I get dad to take his blood pressure medication? I just make him snort it. And the fucking place was cracking up. And then I did the one where I talk about having three kids and being in three different type of abusive relationships. And I talked about, you know, my oldest, he's having sex behind my back. Like, I don't know. And I was like, yeah, you know, he's always with his little whore girlfriend. And then I go, it took me fucking forever to get him to come here tonight with her. And, like, this one lady, she goes, <gasps> and then she looks around, and I go, I'm just kidding. He's not here. He's having sex with his little whore girlfriend. And she goes, oh, and I was like, I fucking got you, though. And, she, like, everybody was laughing at her because she was like, oh, my God. That's funny. Oh, oh where what happened? I was turned off for a moment. Did I turn you off? 
turned back. You down. turned yourself off. Yeah, but now I'm turned up. <laughs> <laughs> but Telco Brewery was fun, and then um, the place. Go Telco. Yeah, and I will. They had a food truck there. It was a Mexican Which food truck. Which they do regularly. Yes, and then he gets different food trucks, but this one was a Mexican food truck. So go check them truck. out. And I know uh, I don't. I know one of their original grounds floor partners from way way back in the day but i mean obviously they don't they aren't partners anymore but i do know how hard they, this group of guys worked yeah to get this telco brewery they worked for years literally years so good job on them and yeah. it was fun it Check was a blast telco brewery. i got free food it was fucking that cool. wasn't a real ad it was just right on also um pocock brewery may 10th if anyone wants to see fucking good me. food good non-alcoholic beer good alcoholic beer i guess i don't drink but I don't know. I don't drink I had, beer. Well, I had that non-alcoholic soda beer thing that oh, they that's had. Right. That wasn't too bad. I only drink what a 13-year-old girl will drink. Like, if it's pink, blue, or green, I'm fucking oh. in. And if it tastes like candy... Or flesh-colored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I'm like dick. Kidding. Yay, I like your dick. Wow, why are you being mean? I'm not being mean. I'm just... Let's, let's just say it as it is. I like having sex. I'm a 40-year-old Jesus. woman who is married and likes your I dick. I don't even like that. Well, fucking... Okay. Just kidding. What's next? I don't know. Cockapoles. Pocock Brewery. You're going to do a main Yeah. You'll be there. Yeah. It yeah. should be a good show. For it everybody. will be. Lots of good comics. Good yeah. Food. Good pizza. Yeah. And then, um, we don't have much. Just, I don't, I know we didn't, we touched on it a little, um, last week, but just driving through Madeira was a fucking trip for me. Like, yeah. driving past my, like, it was nuts seeing shit. Like, my old high school, and then, like, we drove down, like, Main Street, which, you know, used, and then, like, we drove by my old parent, my parents' shop that I fucking grew up in. So, I don't know. It was just no, really I get that. crazy. It's crazy when you look at old stuff that, where you grew up, and you're like, holy shit. I wish we would have went to my old house and my grandma's house. I will do that next time. It was just, and I'd like to do we'll it. We'll be looking for a new sad road to step <laughs> and have sex on, you know what I mean? You like dick. <laughs> And I'd, Jesus. Li- I'd like to do it in the daytime. Me too, but oh, you mean... Yes, yes. yes. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Stop we will it. have sex on the side of the road. No, I don't yes. want to. What if our car breaks down? Wow, that would fucking suck. I'd be dripping and you'd be dry. Fixing the car. I don't know. So, yeah. yes, it would be cool to go check those things out. Yeah, because it was... You know what it is? Like, you know well, how you... I knew where your grandparents lived, so that would be... Well, both trippy. of them. Like that would my... be... I, wouldn't, I knew where your great grandparents live so that would be trippy to watch like go see but like my other grandma too just like right and you know what but it would be cool and you know how like every once in a while when we're driving around and you're like i fucked a girl in that house and i i jumped off the roof bullshit john never have i done anything of that sort anyway and you know how like some like when we were in saugus the other day and we were driving around and you're like i fucked a chick in that house and i blew my first load in that pool you know like stuff like that no, not I, in that pool. I jumped off the roof on this one, and I pretended to fly, and allegedly, all of this is allegedly. We know that. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking. So about it would be it would be fun to drive by, and then me be like, I didn't fuck someone in that house, and I was a tease, and almost pretended to blow a guy in that house, but I didn't. And I got scared and ran out of this house. <laughs> and this is where my dad embarrassed me. Oh God. This is where we talked about that. Where your dad pulled up. Into the driveway of some boy that I had a crush on. They were outside washing his truck. It was beautiful. It was like one of those old like trucks, and he was washing it with like a bunch of the football team. There was more than just him there. Oh, yeah. fuck! I thought it was just him. No. I have, oh my god, that's traumatizing. And he pulled up and he oh. rolled down his window. I was wedged underneath oh the dashboard, god. and my dad was like, Noah. I don't remember it. No, that's not his name. What was it? Noel. Noel Perez. Jesus. Fuck. His and he penis was, wasn't even cut. <laughs> and he was all, <laughs> which one of you is Noel Perez? And I was like, oh my. And he's like, this chick has a crush on you. And Adam's like, it's Joy Simpson. Oh, it's Joy Simpson. And then he Simpson. fucking piled on, dude. That is even worse. She's right here. And then like my dad slowly backed away and then drove away. Did you try? I was mortified. I bet you didn't even And they fucking story. thought it was the funniest thing ever. And then they went home and they were like, oh, look what we did to Joy. 
Look at look at the trauma we just caused her for the rest of her life. I don't know why I'm such an introvert like, and I have such an issue with my parents. <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of that. <laughs> Fuck, man, this is like therapy every week. Now. This is like it's time to do the survey. Well, Part four. Your mom. Son of a bitch. Your mom. Do we have to go into my trauma now? Told my mom. That apparently, she okay. I don't even know if this is true. Like, let, okay, let's find. Let's let's let's, let's double down stories real quick. Your mom told my mom that she wanted to embarrass one of your sisters. I think it was Jamie. So she went to go pick up Jamie, and she was wearing overalls, a straw hat, and she blacked out one of her teeth. And was like, come on, Jamie, let's go. And, like, your sister was, like, totally mortified. I don't remember this. Well, apparently she told that story to my mom, and my mom threatened to do that to me. And I was like, please fucking don't. We already look like white trash. Like, I don't need... You, you don't need no goddamn makeup, Mom. You don't need to add more <laughs> of that on. Please. Right. Please don't. Don't pile on. Oh, my God. And, like, my dad was all... They were always late picking me up, so I was always, like, two hours late before they would come and get me. Right. So, like, I was always the last one. And like, yeah, well, I mean... Well, everything's I, fine. I was always... My parents were always... Or my mom was always there to pick me up. My dad worked a lot. Uh-huh. My mom was always there to pick me up, but there's definitely, like... Yeah. I, I get there... I get some stuff. I got some trauma in there, I'm sure. <laughs> But it was a different time. I, I was in first grade walking to school like a mile and a half with me and my sister. Let's go to school. With no parent, no parental guidance, nothing. New Hall School is a mile and a half? It was probably like more like a mile or close to a mile. Yeah, don't be. Did you okay. have to do it uphill and snow both yeah. ways? Well, you know what? Mileage was different back then. <laughs> so it's different. It wasn't 5,280 feet. It was 5,290 or 62 feet back then. But things got bigger. No, that really didn't work. That Damn was, it. I tried. You I'm, shouldn't try. Bowman graduate. Oh, my God. You're such a cockhead. I don't know. I that. said that to one of the... I was talking to one of the gym teachers. Mm-hmm. And, he, and I said something, and then I go, Well, you know, Bowman graduate. And he goes, I used to work at Bowman. And I go, oh, yeah? He goes, Best teaching job I ever had. Nice. I loved Bowman. I wish I wouldn't have left. Nice. That's what he said. And I go... Oh, okay. Well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but you graduated. Fucking, you should be appreciated. Four and a half year plan. Boom. So you fucking did it, right? Anyway. Anyway. Don't 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 you don't 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 don't. don't. Uh, that's all I got. That's all, folks. Let's see what else. I, I played disc golf this weekend. I almost had a, a long, what they call a black ace. Because there's two baskets. There's one farther. We were playing the farther one. And the, f- the other one was like 30 or 40 feet in front of it. And I hit that one. Yeah. But I didn't drop it, but I hit it. Uh, it fell out. And I went for a hike where you were disking. Yeah, that was fun. With yeah. Number six. Yeah. And I took a picture. You took pictures? I took a picture of the when I was at the water tower. Because I walked all the way up to the oh, water tower. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Which, hence the knee brace. And I worked out today. And then I ate. Sugar. <laughs> well, sugar. That was fun. Sugar. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. I say good we day. Wrap it up. Yeah, you can wrap up your dick. You got a hole in your shorts. Yeah, I know. It's become my thing. It is your thing. I can see your thing in your thing. Right on. <laughs> Everybody, look at my thing. All right. Like, I'm going to say this correctly. Like, click, subscribe, comment, email when wife gives you lemons at gmail.com. Um, tell your friends, come see me May 10th. That's right. One through six. If you tell your friends and one of them listens, then Bless. you did you have homework? Ooh. Uh, that's right. We'll do cheddar bait. No, I'm just kidding. That's not happening. <laughs> Holy that shit. That you'll know about. Holy shit. Okay. So we, oh, were, we, ta- got more? we were talking about, hip- I was in hypnosis class today, right? And so my teacher who used to be a massage therapist also, right? Pause the ending. Yeah, sorry. Go. So my teacher used to be a massage therapist also, and she was like, you know, like, at some point you can't see different ways to make money. 
She goes, I was stuck in massage and I could not see a way to make money. And she was like, honestly, there was a couple times I was like, you know what? I could give a couple hand jobs and make more money. And I was all, holy fuck. And she goes, and I know you've thought of it too. And I was like, fucking yes. I go, John you and got I. got no idea. I go, John and I have talked about chatterbait. And she's like, you can make money off of hypnosis. She goes, your brain pattern is so stuck on this is the only way. She goes, but you have to break it off and see that there is other ways. But it was just like, I've thought about it. I've thought about touching a pee-pee for some extra money. And then it like freaked me out too because I then, know, and that sucked because we're not getting anywhere because I'm paying you to do it. <laughs> Let's just go right back in the bank. We're just going full circle. <laughs> and then, <laughs> circle jerk. And then, um, Oh, and then she was like, she made a fucking crazy ass point. She goes, think about it. The doctors get paid about $120 a massage. You're only getting paid what you're getting paid. I'm not going to say it on air. And she goes, so that means they're basically making, so you're basically paying them $100 an hour to rent that room. And she goes, you could rent a room for Five, let's say you do five massages, five hundred dollars an hour, five hundred dollars right. a day. She goes, you could rent a badass fucking room for five hundred dollars sure. a month, and, I was and you like, probably could. Fuck. But then you got to think about the, you know, you, then you got to carry like insurance for yourself, don't you? Yeah, but not that bad. But anyway, it anyway, was just, yeah, like we're, I'm getting done. So if you guys want to get a massage, um, I suggest doing it soon because I'm, I'm, I'm on a track. I'm doing shit. I'm putting Boom. shit in motion. Like, click, subscribe. Comment. You don't know that at all. Okay, let's email. Let's do this shit. Goodbye. Good day. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Come back again someday. Maybe next time. Maybe next week. Are you looking? Yeah, I'm looking.